Hey guys, uh, back again uh, for uh, day two on this weekend of uh, working on the boat. Um, yesterday I got the floor done. Uh, I even got uh, the vinyl cut for the, uh, the back area where the fuel tanks and the um, uh, batteries are going to go. Um, I'll show you a picture of that. And today I'm actually starting to work on the um, the doors that I was mentioning in the, the video um, uh, to cover the fuel tank areas. Uh, I'm basically making those out of uh, plywood and then I'm going to wrap those in a vinyl uh, just to cover where those speaker holes were and to actually close up that storage area uh, and just make it a, look a little cleaner if you will. Um, so I'm working on that now and I'm also going to be uh, cutting out the seat boxes. Uh, I'm going to put uh, two seats um, uh, in the boat in addition to peg seats. Um, so that's what I'm working on today. It's so hot out here. hot today uh, this summer has been brutal for us so far uh, uh, we've had probably a couple of weeks now of over a hundred degree temperature way above normal for us I mean we get over a hundred here in Texas but uh, it's been like 111 112 uh, it's crazy hot um, but uh, I've got this tent up so that's given giving me some relief there's no way I could be out here in the Sun doing this right now um, but I've got the seat boxes done um, I'm going to show you those and then uh, well the actual frame I still got to cut out the lids and, and do that part um, and uh, the doors for the actual storage area where the uh, gas tanks are going I've got those cut so you can kind of see how it's going to work uh, and I'll show you here so this part up here is going to cover the speaker hole uh, and then I'm going to hinge this door here on each side uh, and these are you know going to be basically the same shape and then this uh, I'll have a latch here attaching to the boat here to keep the door shut and basically the idea is to have this swing out uh, so that I can access the fuel tanks and the batteries um, you know for refill service whatever um, and then keep this shut uh, just to give the boat a little bit more finished look hopefully uh, that's the idea I mean there's I still got to figure out how to get them mounted in there as far as the piece that here that this is attached to uh, how I got to fix that to the boat I got to figure that part out um, but at least the, the idea is pretty much there uh, then the seat boxes are here um, Again, these are just a little bit bigger than the seats.
I'm just about done. I've just got to uh, glass in uh, some wood pieces on the uh, side walls of the back of the boat to attach the doors uh, to um, so that they, you know, are secure. Uh, and I'll show you here in a minute. Um, but the project uh, has gone fairly well. Um, not didn't run into a whole lot of problems. Um, and I'm pretty pretty happy with the results. I think uh, they look pretty decent and uh, they're going to be uh, pretty functional. So I'll let you take a look. So as far as the uh, storage doors, um, I've, I've made it in two sections. The top piece here to kind of cover the hole uh, that you know was for a speaker there. Um, and then these, I've uh, got the latches uh, so you can pull them out and open it up. Again, I don't have this part of the, the uh, door actually attached to anything structurally. Uh, so uh, behind there, I'm gonna glass in some uh, wood studs uh, so that I can screw into those uh, to secure this part of it. Um, so basically that will stay put and the door will hinge open. Um, so it turned out pretty well. Uh, these latches worked really well against the, uh, the fiberglass here uh, to keep the doors, uh, you know, secure. Uh, the gas tank I bought, one of the, the Evinrude, um, it's pretty cool. This actually is the size of the metal ones that, that came with this boat originally. So it fits in this space perfectly, uh, which I'm really happy about. Uh, I did find out on this side I actually have to turn uh, the tank sideways to get it out uh, because of the door even with it open all the way uh, this side I had a little bit more room for some reason I don't know if it's just the way the boat uh, is made and uh, the way the holes are but um, but anyway I don't think that'll be a huge deal if I have to twist it a little bit to get it in and out um, but other than that I mean I'm pretty impressed with you know uh, how they came out. Uh, I did vinyl the back side uh, as well, uh, the same that's you know on the floor. Um, but I think they'll they'll work out pretty well. Um, as far as the uh, there's that side as well, um, and as far as the seat boxes, um, so these are basically going to uh, uh, I'm gonna fasten the actual boat seats down to these boxes. Um, I did create a, you know, a lid for them uh, with a cushion, but I figured, you know, um, you know, I've got the seats already. I'll just fasten them to the top. Um, so, but basically, uh, this one I have pretty much done. Um, so I used aluminum around the edges um, just to kind of cover up the, the wrap of the vinyl and give it a little more um, strength you know on the edges um, vinyl the inside and uh, use an aluminum hinge and some aluminum angle just to give it a little bit more strength in the lid uh, as well as uh, something more uh, structurally strong uh, to bolt the seat to uh, and I did have one gas shock left over because um, I ordered a, a pair, uh, one for the hatch up front. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get um, some more of these and put two on each because I think these are rated for like seven or eight pounds. And uh, I just feel like with the weight of that uh, seat on top, uh, having two on there will be better and it maybe won't slam as bad. Um, but I am going to put some angle aluminum, you know, in the corners in order to fasten it down uh, to the to the floor uh, and keep it uh, nice and uh, you know sturdy and keep it from moving around. So, but uh, overall, I think the project went pretty well. Um, you know, uh, and I'm excited, you know, seeing these colors. Uh, come into the boat I'm getting more excited about getting it getting it done getting the wrap and and everything else anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, please check out my other videos up to this point if you haven't seen those already um, kind of you know going in order here uh, video logging the whole 
the whole restoration. So, um, comment, uh, questions, you know, feel free to, to post and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll uh, keep posting videos as I as I roll along. Thanks again.